ओके गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी विल वाइंड अप दिस यूनिट टू चैप्टर थ्री टुडे दैट इन दिस टू डेज लेक्चर ओके वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन दिस चैप्टर दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी गॉसला एंड डाइवर्जेंस वी हैव स्टडीड व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी एंड व्हाट इज गॉसला एंड वी हैव सीन द अपलिकेशन ऑफ गॉसला फॉर सिमेट्रिकल चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सत इज दैट इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी डी ड्यू टू पॉइंट चार्ज लाइन चार्ज एंड को एक्सल केबल दट डेराइवेशन वी हैव सीन देन we have seen the application of gauss law for asymmetrical charge distribution means that is differential volume element and that led to the concept of divergence okay we have seen what is divergence and we will wind up this chapter by defining the theorem that is divergence theorem right and we will solve few numericals based on that okay okay today we are going to study the vector operator del and the divergence theorem and numericals okay we will try to define the new mathematical operator that is a vector operator del what it is and how it is related to the divergence theorem that we will see okay we will define the del operator that is a vector operator that is del operator is a vector operator it has you can observe here it has ax ay and az are the unit vectors associated with del operator so del operator is do by do x of ax do by do y of ay do by do z of az it is a vector right then we know the electric flux density it is also a vector so if i operate this del operator on this d so you will write that vector first dx into ax plus dy into ay plus dz into az already we have seen the divergence of d vector divergence of d vector in rectangular coordinate system that is do by do x of dx plus do by do y of dy plus do by do z of dz this we know right okay and this divergence of d vector i want to replace by the del operator here means i can instead of writing divergence of d vector i can write it as del dot of d vector okay we'll see how to write it and this is equal to this what is del operator it is a vector operator it is already shown here and this is the d vector then take the dot product but we cannot take the dot product because if i take the dot product what will happen we will see just i'll see take the dot product of del operator and the d vector so del operator is written here and d vector is written here dx ax dy ay dz dz then if i take the dot product what will happen see here just multiply the components do by do x into dx it will become into dx it is not do by do x of dx if i take the dot product right so next do by do y into dy that is what is not required here because i want do by do x of dx plus do by do y of dy it's not multiplication right so so we will not treat this as a dot product we will operate means the dot operation we will call it as a dot operation not dot product right dot operation right so dot operation is c here this del dot of d vector is nothing but divergence of d vector it is equal to do by do x of dx we will define this uh, del operator with divergence as the new operator do by do x of dx plus do by do dy do by do z of dz but this is not a dot product please keep in the mind just right for the sake of usefulness uh, so we will define instead of divergence of d vector i can write it as del dot of d vector right this one and the same so this is the del operation on the vector if i operate the del operation on the scalar field u is a scalar quantity u is a scalar then i want to apply, apply this del operator on the scalar quantity del of u right so del operator is written here and u is written here then if i operate the del operator on the u the scalar quantity it can be written as do by do u by do x into ax do u by do y into ay do u by do z into az you can observe here the divergence of vector or the del operator on the vector quantity is a scalar it results in scalar quantity but you observe the del operator on a scalar quantity it results in a vector quantity because you can see the unit vectors ax ay az is it fine so this is defined only in rectangular coordinate system this del operator this is not defined in cylindrical coordinate system and spherical coordinate system that we will see it later right okay so here we have defined the new operator del in order to define the divergence right we will see we have taken that next divergence theorem okay what is this divergence theorem we will make a statement and this is the mathematical form of divergence theorem we will see how we will get this okay by gauss law we know the gauss law the q is equal to closed surface integral of d dot ds this is gauss law 
but right if any surface is enclosing the charge point charge or line charge or volume charge or surface charge it can be treated as volume charge right so q is equal to volume integral of rho v into dv this we know it right so the closed surface the gaussian surface can enclose the any kind of charge any charge that any charge is treated as volume charge rho v so volume integral of rho v into dv is it fine but we know that the divergence of d vector this is maxwell's first equation divergence of d vector is equal to rho v this is maxwell's first equation right also called as point form of gauss law this can be instead of divergence of d vector i can write it as del dot of d vector equal to rho v we have defined this del operator right so instead of rho v i can write it as del dot of d right del dot of d into dv so observe this uh, uh, first equation or the last equation equate these two right equate these two so that will form the divergence theorem i will explain what is this closed surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of the divergence of d vector into dv what is how to define this and i will explain with this with a di diagram right or this closed surface okay just observe the statement here the divergence theorem states that the total flux lhs it is defining the lhs the total flux crossing the closed surface right that this the lhs will give me the total amount of flux crossing crossing the closed surface right is equal to the integral of rhs is equal to the integral of the divergence of the flux density throughout the enclosed volume right if i consider any closed surface it is a closed surface as well so it is a volume right enclosed volume this will form a volume as well as closed surface right one and the same closed surface okay for example let us take this uh, sir closed surface not only in this shape you can take any shape right right in order to show it 3d they have taken like this right 3d so this is the closed surface i want to find out the total amount of flux leaving the closed surface lhs means that number of flux lines leaving the closed surface this is the closed surface the flux lines are living normal to the surface everywhere in this direction right left right everywhere in front and back everywhere right so the total flux crossing the closed surface is equal to what surface integral is a double integral but volume integral is a triple integral so it is better to go for double integral rather than triple integral based on the situation right sometimes this will be helpful sometimes this will be helpful right i will give one example so that you can better judge upon whether surface integral is preferred or volume integral is preferred right that will see it i will take you the example later okay take this closed surface right then divide it into sections cross section so draw the horizontal lines cut it into few sections then draw the vertical lines so this is the, you can see this is the first section second so many sections are formed right squares these squares right if i consider point a here or the electric flux instance the total amount of flux lines leaving this means i want to find out the divergence the spreading nature of the electric flux lines let me take this right the flux lines are leaving means it is entering this adjacent cell in this direction it is entering means it is entering the adjacent cell if i consider the same uh, cross section here at the boundary means this is the boundary right everywhere this is the boundary so i am considering this cross section here at the boundary the flux lines leaving here yes it is entering this adjacent cell it as yes, this is fine but at the same time you observe that this is leaving the surface right right so you can if you take this yes the flux lines are leaving maybe it is entering the adjacent also right so here just observe i will define the statement once again this divergence theorem the divergence theorem stated the total amount of flux lines leaving the closed surface means everywhere which is normal right here here but it should be normal everywhere right front back everywhere right the total amount of flux lines leaving the closed surface is equal to is equal to what is equal to the integral of the divergence of the electric flux density at each and every point if i consider i can consider point a here i can consider point b here i can consider point c here right everywhere so it is equal to the divergence of the flux the divergence of the flux density throughout the volume throughout the enclosed volume right is it fine it means at this point what is the spreading nature at this point what is the spreading nature if i integrate throughout the entire volume it is as good as it is as good as the total amount of flux lines leaving the closed surface right it is better to take this if you analyze just let me take one example i will i will go i will go to this example later i will come to this summary okay i have a water filled bottle right i have a bottle let me assume that this is a bottle right okay so it is filled with the water yes it is having some small leakage leakage here 
means the water will try to rush out right so just by observing the surface this is the closed surface right just by observing the surface i can tell whether the there is a leakage or not in the water bottle so that is surface integral right lhs the surface integral just by observing the surface i can tell right another way of telling there is a leakage in the bottle is i will take this point a and i will consider the velocity of water entering this point a right and the velocity because whenever there is a hole or there is a leakage means the amount of water entering entering will the velocity with which it enters it leaves the velocity with which it enters is greater means if this let me call it as in and let me call it as out the velocity with which it enters that is at the input is very much less than the velocity with which it leaves the point a means this is at the output means the, the velocity is more here at the output side the velocity is less means there is a leakage because the water will try to rush out right so we can say that there is a leakage right okay so it is better i hope you understood so it is just better to observe the surface rather than calculating the divergence of the velocity at each and every point within the water bottle right so in this case in this example it is better to just have a look at the surface it means the total amount of water that is leaving out from the surface is equal to the volume integral at each and every point within the bottle water content bottle means this point should be lying in the water i should not consider the point wherever there is no water i should consider the point point b points everywhere within the water right so after finding the divergence at each and every point within the bottle and telling that yes there is a leakage it's meaningless right so just observe the surface that is that would be better in this case in this example i hope you understood this right so same diagram is closed surface volume everything just the summary of the divergence theorem means the same thing the definition only the divergence of flux density throughout a volume leads to the same result as determining the net flux crossing the closed surface yes in order to find out the divergence at each and every point right point a point b point c instead of finding the divergence at each and every point within the volume it is better to find out the total amount of flux leaving the closed surface right that is lhs i hope you understood this if any doubts are there you can unmute yourself and uh, speak to me so that i can clarify the doubts as and when it occurs to you right i hope you understood the divergence theorem right this is the mathematical form of divergence theorem surface integral is double integral volume integral is triple integral right but you have to write compulsorily s here it indicates surface here volume triple integral right next we'll take up few numericals and we'll wind up this chapter and we'll move to the next chapter chapter 4 you need to chapter 4 that will see it energy and potential we'll see it later yes evaluate both sides of the divergence theorem for the field d vector is given dx into ax the dx is 2xy plus dy into ay dz is absent here z is not there and evaluate both sides of the divergence theorem for the field d and the rectangular parallel pipe formed by six planes x equal to 0 and 1 y equal to 0 and 2 z equal to 0 and 3 means it's just it's not a cubical surface rectangular cuboid also i can call it as roughly i'm drawing right so just i'll take the draw the axis outside x axis y axis and z axis so this is a varying along x axis this is along y axis this is z axis is it fine okay so x equal to 0 means this front surface back surface sorry this one x equal to 0 this one right so this is x equal to 0 sorry this surface x equal to 0 back surface then front surface this one right here this one so this one x equal to 1 x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 front surface and back surface back surface x equal to 0 and front surface x equal to 1 then y equal to 0 and y equal to 2 y equal to 0 this surface right left surface y equal to 0 then here y equal to 2 left surface and right surface similarly next z equal to 0 and z equal to 3 z equal to 0 means this one here this one so this one z equal to sorry z equal to 3 this one z equal to 0 is here in the xy plane this one so z equal to 0 6 surfaces are there 
okay i want to find out the direction let let me observe x equal to 0 is back surface x equal to 0 is front surface if i take x equal to 0 along back surface it has two sides so these two sides right so what is this side this is parallel to means dz this is parallel to y axis dy so i want differential surface area along x direction so i will multiply dy into dz and what is the direction ax whether it is plus ax or minus ax that is important observe here back surface means i am moving towards negative x axis right means a plus ax is in the positive x direction minus x so it is minus x for the back surface for x equal to 0 for x equal to 1 front surface for x equal to 1 i will write the differential i will write here this side is parallel to z axis this side is dy so dy into dz so it is also along x direction but observe this is along front surface is along positive x axis so it is plus x i hope you got it so finally i can write it as minus dy dz into ax this one plus dy dz into ax this for front surface it is positive for front surface this is front surface and for back surface it is negative right similarly for y axis for left surface it is negative because along negative y axis for right surface uh, it is positive similarly for bottom surface z it is negative for top surface it is positive plus az minus az i hope you got it right okay next we will try to solve this problem both side of divergence theorem what is divergence theorem first we will write so surface integral of closed surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of the divergence of the electric flux density del dot d into dv right call this as equation one so first we'll take up lhs left hand side so lhs closed surface integral of d dot ds is equal to how many surfaces are this totally six surfaces but observe here dx into ax plus dy into ay is it fine so this is d vector but dz is zero dz is not given if it is not given dz is zero so dz is zero means we will not consider the z axis z equal to zero means the everywhere the flux lines are because it is like they are lying in x plane and x x y plane means everywhere the flux lines are living either in x direction or y direction left or right but they are parallel to z axis uh, sorry z surface z equal to zero plane right they are parallel to top surface and bottom surface these flux lines are parallel right so dz is absent so we will write it we will split up we will take up only along front surface back surface left and right top and bottom you will not take because z is zero right dz is zero so this is for front surface and back surface so d front or else front means what is x equal to 1 x equal to 1 front surface d at first let me take back surface x equal to 0 d at x equal to 0 into ds x right then this is for back surface similarly this is yes i have to write because surface integral then surface integral of a front surface back surface is over front surface along x direction where x is 1 then ds x then left surface left surface along y direction d at y equal to what y equal to 0 and y equal to 2 y equal to 0 is left surface into ds y plus closed surface integral of d vector at y equal to how much 2 front uh, right surface y equal to 2 into ds z y okay what is dsx we know already i told for front surface it is positive for back surface it is negative similarly for left and right right okay what is uh, dsx it is for back surface back surface is this one minus dy dz ax i will get but what about this dx into ax dy into ay so if i multiply dsx means ax into ax it is one ax into ay it will be zero means this will vanish only i will take the first dx into ax what is dx into ax it is 2xy right into ax so 2xy into x equal to 0 means back surface right 
back surface means this one so i'll be getting minus so i'll write it here what is d dx into x dx is 2xy but what is the value of x i have to substitute x equal to 0 x equal to 0 means this first term will vanish because x is 0 right so substitute x equal to 0 here this will vanish so first term is will vanish this will vanish then come to the second term so d dsx front sorry front surface this one dsx right so at x equal to 1 substitute x equal to 1 i am getting 2y i'll write surface integral of 2y i am getting from this substitute x equal to 1 2y into what is dsx for the front surface it is dy dz dy dz into ax dot ax will be 1 don't write ax here right so dy dz that's all surface integral of 2y dy dz plus yes observe y equal to 0 and y equal to 2 means d only you take dy dx will not come into picture because dsy is what is dsy so i'll write here differential surface area along y direction is right so if i consider differential surface these are the differential elements dx dy dz i want differential surface area along y direction leave this multiply other two dx dz dx dz into ay so ay dot ax first term will be zero ay dot ay means i should consider only second term x square into ay so we observe here x square is there but substitute y equal to zero there is this is a constant so whether it is y equal to zero or y equal to two both are one and the same right both are one means integration of x square into i will get so i will get whatever i am getting at right what is differential surface area along y direction y is zero y is zero means it is negative right so instead of this i will get minus surface integral of so what is this y equal to zero so i will be getting x square only right from this so what is dsy dsy is dx dz dx dz why it is negative means why it is minus a y means left surface because along negative y axis right so it will minus a y so this is minus for this one then i'll come to this y equal to 2 y is plus a y so integration surface integral of x square dx dz right so it is positive only plus a y right for the right surface so this will the both will get cancelled this one and this one y equal to 0 and because they are same i am left out with only this term so left hand side lhs is equal to closed surface integral of d dot ds i am left out with only this so surface integral is double integral so i'll write double integral so 2y dy dz so it varies from y and z y is running from 0 to 2 z is running from 0 to 3 so integrate it so 2 is constant take it out so integrate with respect to y first so y square by 2 y square by 2 so y is varying from 0 to 2 so next z is constant so z integrate with respect to z 0 to 3 right so write down what i am getting so 1 by 2 into upper limit is 2 square 4 minus lower limit it is 0 4 minus 0 i will not write so upper limit minus lower limit 3 minus 0 i will get 3 here so multiply 2 1 ja 2 2 ja 4 3 2 ja 6 6 2 ja 12 i am getting 12 as the answer so lhs i got it 12 means this one lhs closed surface integral of d dot ds is 12 similarly i should get i should prove that the right side if i whether i go for surface integral or volume integral it should be 12 only so we will take up rhs now i hope you understood if any doubts are there please unmute yourself and speak to me so that i will clarify the doubts as and when it comes to you so i'll take rhs now right hand side so volume integral law of del dot d into dv so first we'll find out del dot of d vector right so del dot of d vector so that means nothing but divergence of d vector it, d vector is in observe this is in cartesian system we know the formula dou by dou x of dx dou y dou y of dy dou by dou z of dz so we'll do one by one dou by dou x of what is dx 2xy 2xy plus dou by dou y of what is dy 
it is x square dz is 0 dz is 0 means this term is 0 right third term so differentiate with respect to x i will get 2y so differentiate this with respect to y it will be 0 so i am getting only 2y so this is 2y what about dv dv this delta d we got it divergence of d vector is 2y what about this dv differential volume so it is multiply all the three sides dx dy dz this is the differential volume right in rectangular coordinate system so take rhs volume integral of del dot d vector into dv so volume integral is a triple integral so what is del dot t it is 2y and what is dv dx dy dz so integrate along x y z x is varying from 0 to 1 and y is varying from 0 to 2 z is varying from 0 to 3 let me verify it yes it's correct okay 2 is constant take it out so integrate with respect to x right so first i will integrate with respect to x it's constant so x is varying from 0 to 1 next with respect to y y square by 2 i will get y square by 2 y is varying from 0 to 2 next integrate with respect to z z is constant so z limits are 0 to 3 right so 2 so upper limit minus lower 1 minus 0 it is 1 only next from this what i'll be getting half times upper limit minus lower limit 2 square is 4 upper limit minus lower limit is 0 leave it then upper limit 3 minus 0 3 i am getting so 2 1 ja 2 2 ja 4 3 2 ja 6 6 2 ja 12 so we have proved that lhs equal to rhs which means that closed surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of del dot divergence of d vector into dv is equal to 12 we have proved it right so we have evaluated whether i go for surface integral or volume integral i'll get the same thing right next we'll take up this example uh, this observe here the same pre as previous problem but the d vector is in a cylindrical system right a rho a phi so evaluate both sides of the divergence theorem for the region bounded by rho equal to 2 phi equal to 0 and phi Re observe here phi is 0 and it is not 0 to 360 degrees 0 to pi it is not 0 to 2 pi right so half cylinder is formed z equal to 0 to 5 so just i will draw the cylinder first diagram is not required but it will give the better understanding half cylinder cut it into half means half cylinder is formed just i'll shade this portion this is the closed surface that is formed half cylinder right okay we will write the divergence theorem as usual so closed surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of the divergence of d vector into dv this is the divergence theorem right but observe here d rho into a rho d rho into a rho this is d rho plus d phi into a phi d phi into a phi this is d phi a phi d is rho phi dz is not given dz is zero here right this is a d vector general form d rho into a rho plus d phi into a phi right okay first we'll take up lhs then we'll go for rhs so we'll take up lhs closed surface integral of d dot ds so observe here radial direction and phi right observe here the field is varying along radial direction and phi direction not along the top and bottom should not be considered means if, if this is the cylinder i can integrate along sides top and bottom right so that i will cover entire surface right first sides cylindrical surface top surface and bottom surface but observe here z is absent means top and bottom no need to require so integrate along only sides so integrate this along top so not required integrate along bottom not required but still i will write but integrate along sides so top and bottom are not required it is zero field is not living only sides is left out right d dot ds we'll see it is it fine 
ओके साइड्स में ओके दिस इज फाइन आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड ओके डी डॉट डी एस वट इज डी डॉट डी एस विल सी क्लोज सरफेस इंटेग्रल ऑफ डी डॉट डी एस ओके जस्ट यू विल हैव अ लुक एट दिस डी वेक्टर इट इज अलॉन्ग रो डायरेक्शन एंड फाइव डायरेक्शन सो डी वेक्टर अलॉन्ग रो डायरेक्शन लेट मी टेक डी रो राइट डी रो इंटू वट इज दिस डी एस रो डी एस रो डिफरेंशियल सर्फेस एरिया अलॉन्ग रो डायरेक्शन आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट सो आई विल राइट डाउन द डिफरेंशियल एलिमेंट फर्स्ट डी रो रो डी फाइव डी जेड दीज आर द डिफरेंशियल फर्स्ट राइट ऑन डी रो डी फाइव डी जेड स्केल फैक्टर्स वन रो वन स्केल फैक्टर्स राइट सो आई वॉन्ट डिफरेंशियल सर्फेस एरिया अलॉन्ग रो डायरेक्शन मीन्स रो इन टू डी फाइव डी जेड आई गेट रो इन टू डी फाइव डी जेड सो इन टू ए जेड राइट बिकॉज सॉरी इन टू ए रो राइट दिस अलॉन्ग रो डायरेक्शन रो इन टू डी फाइव बट वॉट अबाउट दिस डी रो इन टू ए रो ए रो इन टू ए रो विल बी वन सो आई नॉट राइट ए रो डी रो इन टू रो डी फाइव डी जेड ए रो डॉट ए रो विल बी वन आई विल नॉट राइट दिस सर्फेस इंटरव्यू प्लस नेक्स्ट रो इज ओवर नेक्स्ट डी फाइव डी फाइव इंटू ए फाइव राइट डी फाइव इंटू ए फाइव ए फाइव विल नॉट राइट बिकॉज ए फाइव इंटू ए फाइव विल बी वन डिफरेंशियल सर्फेस एरिया अलॉन्ग फाइव डायरेक्शन आई वॉन्ट सो अलॉन्ग फाइव मीन्स लिव दिस मल्टीप्लाई अदर टू डी रो इंटू डी जेड डी रो इंटू डी जेड इंटू ए फाइव सो फ्रॉम दिस ए फाइव ए फाइव इट विल बी वन सो आई बी गेटिंग डी रो इंटू डी जेड दिस इज सर्फेस इंटेल आई होप यू गॉट दिस राइट ओके सो वट इज डी रो डी रो इज सिक्स रो साइन ऑफ हाफ फाइव मीन्स पॉइंट फाइव फाइव सो दिस रो इज द रो इंटू रो मल्टीप्लाई सो आई राइट सर्फेस इंटेग्रल ऑफ सिक्स रो स्क्वायर सिक्स रो स्क्वायर बिकॉज दिस रो इज देर मल्टीप्लाई विथ दिस रो सो रो सिक्स रो स्क्वायर साइन ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव हाफ इज नथिंग बट पॉइंट फाइव फाइव इंटू डी फाइव डी जेड सो इंटेग्रेट अलॉन्ग फाइव डायरेक्शन एंड जेड डायरेक्शन प्लस इट इज सेकेंड टर्म सरफेस इंटेग्रल वॉट इज डी फाइव वन पॉइंट फाइव रो वन पॉइंट फाइव रो कॉस ऑफ हाफ इज नथिंग बट पॉइंट फाइव फाइव इंटू डी रो डी जेड so integrate along row direction and z direction right this is closed surface integral of d dot ds so we will call this as first term and we will call this as second term first we will do separate integration of you can do parallelly also no problem but i will do it separately first term and second term then i will add these two so that i will get lhs left hand side so i will take up the first one first term so first integral of Six row square sine of point five five d five dz. So five is varying from zero to pi, not two pi, right? And z is varying from zero to five, zero to five. Yes, it's correct. Okay. With respect to phi, yes, this will come. With the sixth row square, row square is constant. I can take it out. Sixth row square is constant. Take it out. So next, I will integrate with respect to sine. Integration of sine phi is minus cos 0.5 phi divided by 0.5, and phi limits are varying from zero to pi. Yes. Next, I will integrate with respect to z. Z is constant. So z, the limits of z are zero to phi. Right? What is rho? Rho is two, right? Radius is two. So six into two square. Radius is rho. Rho is two, right? So two square. Two square is four. So minus. So point five is half. So minus two. This one by two. I'll take it two. Then open bracket. Upper limit minus lower limit. So cos of point five into pi is nothing but one eighty degree. So my since my calculator is in Uh, degree mode, so I will calculate like this: cos of 0.5 into 180 degree. I will take not pi. Pi is 180 degree. Substitute right. So I am getting it as the upper limit is zero. Minus below substitute zero. Cos zero is one. This is over. Next from this upper limit minus lower limit, I will get five. Five minus zero. Six four is 24 into 
so minus into minus so 5 to z 10 so i am getting 240 first term so come to the second term second term is double integral of 1.5 rho 1.5 rho cos 0.5 cos of 0.55 into d rho dz d rho dz this is along rho and along z so rho is varying from 0 to 2 they have given rho equal to 2 but it is start the radius always starts from 0 right 0 to 2 then z 0 to 5 so with respect to rho means yes 1.5 cos 5 this is constant because with respect to 5 right i can take it out 1.5 cos of 0.55 this is constant i am left out with so open bracket integration with, uh, with respect to rho i will do so rho square by 2 so rho is varying from 0 to 2 next integrate with respect to z z is constant so z is varying from 0 to 5 yes 1.5 so here 0.55 whether to substitute 5 equal to 0 or pi so take upper limit minus lower limit so 5 is varying from 0 to pi so take upper limit minus lower limit so what i'll be getting i'll write it here sorry what happened pen went pen yes so upper limit once again already have calculated cos of pi is upper limit 0 minus cos 0 is 1 i hope it is correct right just i'll do once again cos of 0.5 into 180 degree it is 0 right yes then next minus lower limit cos 0 it will be 1 so i'll be getting minus something like this right so next i'll come to within this bracket this one 1 by 2 into upper limit minus lower limit 2 square is 4 or minus 0 so i'll not write it into upper limit. so this one i will get 5 from this so 2 1 ja 2 2 ja 4 so minus so 5 to z 10 10 it means minus 15 i will get multiply right so add first term and second term so lhs is closed surface integral of d dot ds so first one i am getting 240 first term second term is minus 15 so i am getting lhs as 240 minus 15 225 right just verify the answer yes it is 225 lhs next we will take up the rhs rhs volume integral of the divergence of d vector del dot of d vector into dv so first we will find out del dot of d vector right this is in cylindrical system because uh, let me write the d vector here clearly once again 6 row sine 6 row sine 0.55 into a row right yes plus 1.5 rho cos 1.5 rho cos 0.55 into a5 i hope this is correct let me verify yes this is given so i will apply this is in divergence so divergence in cartesian sorry cylindrical coordinate system so del dot of d only i'm taking this del dot of d i'll write the formula in a cylindrical coordinate system I remember so I will write if it is wrong please correct me do by do rho of rho into d rho 1 by rho do by do phi of d phi plus do by do z of d z I hope the formula is correct as far as I remember this is d rho right so let me do it parallelly 1 by rho do by do rho of rho into d rho this is d rho right this row multiply 6 row square 6 row square sine of 0.55 plus second term 1 by row do by do phi of what is d phi right d phi is this 1.5 row cos of 0.55 plus this dz is 0 dz is not there so this is 0 
so do the first two terms 1 by rho so which is constant with respect to rho means 6 this is constant take it out 6 sin of 0.5 phi so with respect to rho right 2 rho i will get differentiation of rho square is 2 rho first term is over come to the second term 1 by rho so which is constant here with respect to phi means this is constant so 1.5 rho is constant take it out differentiation of cos phi is minus so this 0.5 will come sin 0.5 phi i hope this is correct differentiation cos phi is minus sin phi but 0 0.5 will come here right is it correct next rho rho will get cancelled right so i am getting 6 2 6 at 12 right 6 into 2 12 sin of point by 5 first term over right then second term rho rho will get cancelled right so 1.5 into 0.5 so the minus will come here minus sign is there so 1.5 into 0.5 so i am getting it as 0 0.75 0 0.75 75 yes then i am left out with sign of 0 0.5 sorry yes 0 0.55 correct observe here 12 sign of 0 0.55 minus 0 0.75 sign of 3 so subtract 12 minus 0 0.75 12 minus 0 0.75 so i am getting it as 11.25 11.25 sign of 0 0.55 is it correct so del dot dv got it. what is dv differential volume right next what is dv i'll write it here so in cylindrical coordinate system dv is rho d rho d phi dz just multiply all the three differential elements you'll get this right so i know this so just take rhs volume integral of del dot of d vector into dv it is del dot of d vector 11 point this one right and dv right volume integral is a triple integral so write down this 11.25 sine of 0.55 over then dv is rho into d rho d phi dz so rho varies from 0 to 2 phi varies from 0 to pi z varies from 0 to phi just let me verify rho phi z values Yes, 0 to 2, 0 to pi, 0 to 5. Correct. So, we will integrate this. Let me integrate here only. Uh, which is constant. 11.25 is constant. Take it out. Open bracket. First, I will integrate with respect to rho is here. So, rho square by 2. So, rho is varying from 0 to 2. Then, I will integrate with respect to phi. The integration of sin phi is minus cos phi right minus cos 0.55 divided by 0 0.5 phi is varying from 0 to pi i hope you got this then phi is we integrate with respect to z z is constant so z the limits of z vary from 0 to phi so i'll go to the next slide ah, so i don't have space let me write it here these two are homework problems for you people later on you do it so i'll continue with that problem continued so rhs equal to volume integral of del dot of d vector into dv is equal to what i am getting i'll write 11.25 open bracket yes 1 by 2 into upper limit 4 1 by 2 into 4 right 1 by 2 into 4 i'll get from this first term over then second term i will come to this later i will come to this z is 5 minus 0 so i will get 5 here into 5 next i will come to this second term this one so observe here 1 by 0.5 can be written as 1 by 2 so minus 2 so i will get into minus 2 i will write here into minus 2 into open upper limit minus lower limit if i do this so it will be 0 0 minus 1 so i will be getting 0 minus 1 upper limit minus lower limit 2 1 ja, 2 2 ja, 4 11.25 just multiply all the things 5 2 ja, 10 right 10 into this 10 2 ja, 20 so we check it 
11.25 into 20. So I'm getting it as 225. So hence we can say that LHS equal to RHS which implies closed surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of divergence of d vector into dv that is equal to 225 we got it right lhs equal to rhs so these two are homework problems you take it just i'll stop recording